guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new then welcome to my channel where you will find everything is super transparent. I give you all of my honest reviews and I give you professional makeup artistry insider tricks and tips which are easy for you guys to follow and understand. Now today's video is me doing makeup on my mum again because you guys loved her so much so I decided to bring her back but this time for a quick 10 minute makeup tutorial on mature skin. Now before we head into the video if you do like this video then please do give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos and you can catch me on Instagram where you can follow my stories for some daily beauty news. Now let's jump straight into the video. So first thing I'm going to do is apply some concealer. I'm using the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in Ginger. I'm just putting a little bit on the eyelids there and I'm going to use my sponge which is damp by the way and just buff this in. We've used a really small amount because obviously if you don't have much time then you just want to apply enough to be able to give you some coverage but not necessarily a full coverage look. Now I'm just getting my Real Techniques brush and I'm dusting a very small amount of the Laura Mercier translucent powder onto the lids. I'm kind of like pressing it in. Now I'm going to apply some more of that concealer, but I'm just applying it to the under eyes. Now I'm not applying too much, but a very small amount will be enough just for a quick look. You know, if you just want that really nice coverage, you want to kind of like cover up those dark circles or any discoloration that you might have. I'm just getting my beauty blender, which again is damp. I'm just going to press this in. I'm just buffing it into the skin. I'm kind of keeping it within the area that I've applied it. I don't want to really spread it out anywhere because we create this line here for a little bit of lift and we've applied a little bit here so that it can just cover up that darkness because you'll always find it's a little bit darker around closer to the inner corner. I'm just using very small movement, so I'm not kind of going here, here, here. I'm really keeping it within that area. Let's apply just a little bit in a few other areas just where I know that we might get some darkness. Go in with the Beauty Blender and just kind of press it into the skin. You'll find a little goes quite a long way because we're going for a very quick look. This is when you really don't have much time. So we're just applying it in those key areas. Now I'm applying the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Skin Tint in number 12. I'm just applying a little bit all over the face and I'm going to really buff this in. So I'm using my Beauty Blender and I'm just going to really kind of press this into the skin. This is a really good kind of, I wouldn't say foundation because it is, it, well it kind of is a foundation but it's just not really focused on coverage. It's more so about the color. So I'm really pressing this in. You can see it just blends in really easily. And we're taking this onto the under eye area as well because we want that found, that concealer that we applied there to just kind of blend into the foundation. And you can see it gives such a nice warm tint to the skin. So it's like a veil of color. Now if you do want to apply more concealer, you can do on top of this if you want to brighten up certain areas. And although I don't feel like we need it, I just want to kind of show you very quickly so let's say if we want to brighten up this area and this area, all you're doing is applying it on top and then just pressing in with the sponge. It's really quick and it's really easy. Now it just really depends on whether you feel like you want that extra brightness. It's more so about the brightness than the coverage because this is a quick look, something easy for you to do when you don't have time. Now what I'm going to do is just kind of set certain areas. So I'm just making sure there are no creases here. So I'm just dabbing my Beauty Blender on top, going in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and just pressing it into certain areas. And just pressing it in on the under eye area, just around the nose here. I really don't want to get rid of that really nice kind of like dewy finish that we have on the skin. So I'm only applying the powder to certain areas like the under eyes because I don't want that to stay dewy. I'm going to take my Bobbi Brown Brow Powder Powder, and I'm just going to shape the brows. So I'm just using my 317 Zoeva brush with a little bit of the powder on there and I'm just going to shape the brows. Now because we want to go pretty quick, we don't have much time. This is obviously what that video is about. So we want to just shape them, not necessarily spend ages trying to 
effect to them, but we're just kind of like applying the powder in the areas that we feel that we need them. So not a lot. You really don't want your eyebrows to look too dark with this kind of look. We're just applying a very small amount to make sure we're filling in any of the areas where there's some, where there isn't any hair basically. I'm applying my Nude Sticks Plush Paint Gel and I'm applying the shade Waikiki Rose. So you can see you can just literally make this on. This is honestly amazing if you want that really natural cheek colour. Now I'm using the back of my Beauty Blender and I'm just kind of like letting this buff into the skin and it gives a really nice natural color to the skin. That's what I love about this because it actually doesn't have crazy pigment, which is what I like when it comes to cheek blush. I want it to like kind of sink into the skin. I'm just using my Stella Stay All Day Mascara and I'm just applying a very small amount now. We don't really have time with this kind of look, so we're just gonna apply a very small amount so that it just coats the lashes and just opens up the eyes a little bit. And the great thing about this mascara is that it's actually curved, so it gives a really nice, I wouldn't say curling effect, because I feel like it's difficult for any mascara to give that effect, but it does kind of fit around the lashes and the shape of the eye really easily so that, you know, you don't end up touching any area of the skin that you don't want to touch. Now I'm just going to touch the lower lashes very lightly, so just the tip, I'm not really brushing through them. I just kind of am touching them very lightly because I feel like that's something that a lot of people struggle with. Now, if you don't want that obvious kind of spidery look, you can just touch them at the end. Make sure there's not too much product on the brush though, and it still gives you that nice effect. Now I'm gonna just very quickly line the lips. I'm not gonna really spend too much time on this because I just want a very light lip line. So I don't want there to look like I've got an actual, like I've drawn in a full on lip line. So I just wanna very lightly skim over it. Now the great thing is you can actually still use that same color that we used on the cheeks, but apply it on the lips. I'm going to apply some of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette just over some areas. I'm using the more lighter shade and that's going to just help to kind of brighten up the skin but also give it kind of like radiant glow. That is more or less it but as you can see you don't actually need to use a lot of product. We've used minimal product. We've actually used such a small amount out of all of the products that we've used and hopefully that shows you that it isn't necessarily about using full coverage highly pigmented products all the time. You can use very natural looking products or products that give you a natural finish and use a very small amount of them. And if you use it in the right way, then it can actually give you a really nice, just really nice, easy look when you don't have much time. Now, if you really wanted to add some color on the eyes, if you have a little bit of extra, a few more minutes, then you can use that color that I used, close your eyes for me, just on the eyelids, very small amount. You don't want to go all over because it's like almost like a very natural stain. You can just press it into the lids. And all this does is it just adds a little bit of pop of color to the eyes. Okay, so this is our 10 minute makeup tutorial. And obviously if you have a few extra minutes, I've shown you a couple of things that you could do to add like the Hourglass lighting palette. You can also use the Nude Sticks gel cream products that we used on the cheeks and we've applied it to the cheeks initially added it to the lips and you can also add a pop of color to the eyes by using the same color. And you can see it doesn't actually look like you've used the same color everywhere. It really is just about how much you use and how you kind of let it melt into the skin. Very minimal powder. We only applied powder to the end eyes to make sure that doesn't crease and also to key areas to keep it matte so that if there are any fine lines there or wrinkles then it doesn't kind of start collecting. Equally, it's not just the powder that stops that kind of powder sitting in any of the lines. It is the fact that we've used a very, very small amount of product and the texture of the product is very light and natural. So there you go, that's my quick 10 minute makeup tutorial for mature skin and I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget that all the products are listed in the description box as well. As always, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.